We are following a developing story in Coconut Creek where Monarch High School has been hit with a big fine for allowing a trans athlete to play on the volleyball team. Local 10's Hatzavella is live with what he's learned. Hatzel. There go some serious repercussions for Monarch High School, including that hefty fine you mentioned. The letter is dated today. It comes from the state's high school athletic association, which notifies Monarch High School it is being reprimanded, placed on probation, and fined. All because it says Monarch High School permitted a biological male to participate on the girls' volleyball team during the 2022-23 and 2023-24 girls' volleyball seasons, violating association rules and state law. Last month on the 28th, we learned Broward Schools initiated its own investigation that focuses on why a transgender student was allowed to play on the school's varsity volleyball team. While the investigation is ongoing, the superintendent decided to remove five staff members, including the school's principal, assistant principal, and athletic director. Part of the investigation will look at whether those involved knew they were breaking the law signed by the governor two years ago that bans transgender students from playing on female teams. Today's letter from the state's High School Athletic Association also informs the school it will be fined $16,500. That's $500 for each of the 33 games the student played those two academic school years. Not really much like a like a big deal. So like they're kind of like blowing it out of proportion, honestly. I think if a student wants to play a sport, they should be able to play a sport regardless of the gender. I mean, she obviously can't go on the boys' team, so why not give her the opportunity to play on the girls' team? It just seems... Unnecessary. From a 2021 federal lawsuit, we learned the now 15 year old student was diagnosed with gender dysphoria at age 7, began hormone blockers at age 11, and is taking estrogen, it will develop as a girl. The letter also says the student herself would not be able to play any sports until November of next year. But now reporting live from Coconut Creek, I'm Hatsabella, Local 10 News.